Good morning, guys. Here we are, Science Bell Work, week five, day four, continuing to read about why batteries die. We've uh, discussed chemical properties, physical properties. We were introduced into electrodes yesterday, and we discussed um, a car battery and how the lead and lead oxide, how they react to certain substances. Today, we're going to be discussing how to charge a battery, whether that's a car battery or a battery, battery of other sorts. So follow along as I read through the passage and we'll move on to parts A and B. A battery contains only a fixed amount of reactants. So as soon as these reactants have been used up, the reaction stops and the battery goes dead. A dead battery produces no more electrons and no more electricity. However, some batteries can be recharged by connecting them to a source of electricity such as a wall outlet. This is possible because the electrochemical reactions that create electricity are reversible. When a battery is recharging, electricity flows in the opposite direction. In a car battery, this allows the lead sulfate that coats both of the electrodes to dissolve back into the acid solution. Lead and lead oxide reform on each of the electrodes. This process of recharging uses energy in itself. But when the battery is reconnected to the car, the electrochemical reaction that produces electricity can start all over again. So part A wants us to number the steps in the correct order to show how a battery is recharged. So we have four steps here. So the first thing we need to do is connect the battery to a source of electricity like a wall outlet. So if we look in this second paragraph, okay, says because electrochemical reactions are reversible, when a battery is recharging, electro electricity flows in the opposite direction. In a car battery, this allows the lead sulfate that coats both electrodes to dissolve back into the acid solution. So lead sulfate dissolves into the acid solution. That would be our second step. And then after that, it says the lead and lead oxide reform on each of the electrodes. That would be our third step. And then last but not least, it says this process of recharging uses energy in itself, but when the battery is reconnected to the car, the electrochemical reaction that produces electricity can start all over again. The battery produces electrons. Fourth step. Uh, part B wants us to name two devices you have used or seen that have rechargeable batteries. Then name the source of the energy that you would use to recharge them. Um, you can say cell phone, and you would use the wall outlet. Um, you can also have iPad, and that would also be wall outlet. There you have it, folks. Science Bell Work Week 5, Day 4. Hope you guys made your corrections, and have a good day.